is one of the sharpest, wittiest, smartest writers out there. You guys are gonna love him, y'all. It's Christopher Anthony. I run up like I just got on a fucking game show. It's ridiculous. <laughs> hey, you guys. Um, I think my grandma watches me masturbate. No, what I mean is, I, I believe in ghosts. That's what I meant to say, that's right, okay. It's weird, word choice is very important, right? Hanging out with my friends, one of the guys is like, you know what, I'm just gonna say it, I like to fuck big girls. Everybody's like, ooh, yeah, go you, you're so... My other friend's like, you know what guys, I like to fuck little girls. And no one cheered him on, because he should have said petite. He should have said short, but he went with little, and now no one trusts him to babysit. So, be careful what you say. I think New Orleans is a really funny city, right? Like, they make a point to tell you where all the drug-free zones are, but they never tell you where all the free drug zones are. It's in the French Quarter, guys. Just, just walk by, and you're like, I got the best weed, I got the best weed! I'm like, why don't you have an answering service? Why are you standing in front of a church? If you have the best weed, it sells itself. All right. When I first moved to New Orleans, I was like, wow, a lot of people have bikes out here. But now that I've lived in New Orleans, I'm like, wow, a lot of people have DUIs out here. You're not environmentally responsible. You can't legally fucking drive. You're not woke. You're broke. Pay the fine, get behind the wheel, and leave. All right. I don't know if you guys know this, but downtown in the CBD, not to be confused with everyone's cheap pastime, in the CBD, there is a billboard that says, learn to read. Hey. Who the fuck is that sign for? I get the point, promoting literacy, but it should just be a book that illuminates, you know what I mean? All right. It's fine, it's true. I was walking outside of a strip club, just walking by, the promoter standing there, he says, come on in, no cover. And I'm like, I think I know how strip clubs work, thank you. All right, they're naked. Oh, well, that's good. My ex drives for Uber, which I think is good for her, because she loved taking strangers home. And uh, she's made a job out of it, it's amazing. And now with Airbnb, she's like, Drops them off, has sex with a different person every week in the same apartment. It's like I love, that's a queen size bed, it's very soft. I mean, enjoy your stay. Alright. My, uh, my girlfriend accused me of gaslighting her, and I responded by telling her, that's not even a real term, stop making stuff up, okay? Everything, everything on that police report was a lie. Right. Turns out the same medication that helps with social anxiety, also causes diarrhea. What the fuck's the point? It's like, it's so great to have the courage to talk to strangers if you excuse me. I just have to vomit on my ass real quick, but did you just stay here? Maybe friends, maybe. Uh, My girlfriend said that the only way she would ever give me roadhead ever again is if I drove. And I'm just like, that doesn't sound nearly as exciting. Also, if you're successful, I'm going to be too tired to drive. Okay, I'm just performing for the two of you. How are you doing? Let's get there. Let's go. The election just passed. Who'd you guys vote for? Who'd you vote for? Just shout it out. Shout out. I don't vote because I don't care. Okay, cool. I'll tell you who I voted for. I voted for the person with the most signs. <laughs> That's the point. I voted for the person with the most signs because if they have that many signs, they have a shit ton of money and a bunch of friends. And if I learned anything from high school, it's kiss up to the people with money and friends. Otherwise, who the fuck's gonna buy your lunch? All right, it's true. I, you guys, anybody who vote, actually go out and vote. Oh my God, such beautiful women working those polls. Oh, so great. It's just nice to see beautiful women willing to work for a few hours for a guy in a suit who's already married. <laughs> it's like the strip club. All right, two more jokes, here we go. 
Uh, I think I had a threesome. You tell me if I'm wrong. If I have sex with a girl who's bisexual and bipolar, I feel like that's a twofer, right? 12 minutes in, someone else just showed up in that same girl's body. And was just like, I'm fucking into this! It's like, all right, slow down, Cindy. Finally speaking of, uh, anyway, loneliness is a thing, right? One of my friends, I need dog owners. Can I get a woof woof for my dog owners? All right, or my dog carers. My apologies to the unpolitically correct way to refer to dog. Anyway, my friend really wanted a dog. And after four months, she went ahead and adopted a dog because she couldn't have one naturally. And that's just what you do. You know what I mean? First you try, and then you adopt. Doggy stuff, the entire time. All right, you guys are great. Thank you so much.